Hey, so it's actually not the next day, it's the day after yesterday. Oh, I just, I slept all day, to be perfectly honest. I, I didn't do anything. Um, I was comfortable enough, <sighs> that's relative, to not go with um, any pain meds. I think it's important after, um, I don't know so many months to check in and see where my pain levels at if it's getting any better or worse and i do think it's getting slightly better i probably took less meds than i ever have of this for sure so that's wonderful to see um yeah but yeah like i said i didn't do anything i literally just slept all day and my husband was home to take care of me, so I was afforded that luxury. Um, but other than that, I'm starting to feel a lot, a lot better. I haven't had any medi medication today at all. Obviously, I didn't have any yesterday either, but today I definitely do not even need any whatsoever. Um, yesterday, I might have been able to take like half a pill if I really wanted to and been a little more comfortable than I was but hopefully I've shed some insight I'll try to put some helpful information uh, laced in between here I'm also going to put some pictures of how bad I could actually bloat um, definitely not flattering but once again I think it's important to share a lot of this information not just with women but men as well um, so that you can direct women sometimes in the right direction there's no problem with that you know women's health is men's health and men's health is women's health that's why we have you know each other's names in our name women women men men like we're we're this we're the same we really are and we need to take care of each other and love each other and know what the hell is going on in each other's bodies because i know a lot of men have a lot of confusion when it comes to women's menstrual cycle periods whatever you want to call it um yeah it's not just some crazy ass murder scene down there that we can't control it's actually a lot slower and also if you change to tampons you would know how slow your period actually is because the tampons lie they really really do um the other best part about a menstrual cup is you can leave it in for 12 hours without any risk of tss um, toxic shock syndrome so that's another huge benefit and yeah once again i can almost guarantee you if you've only ever been <clears throat> using tampons you have no idea how slow your actual period is it, it really is like yeah it really is there's nothing just like pouring down our legs or anything if we don't you know shove something up there that's not how this shit works we can sit in a tub for hours and have it not not like not even a drop of blood will like come out and be like weird and gross and we're just like sitting in a tea of blood like that's not how this works literally it just that's not how this works so maybe i'll make a video on what a period is actually like um for men and women and little girls because there's so much confusion most women don't know what the hell is going on with their own bodies which i find absolutely tragic because i mean ugh, masturbating all that that's healthy women it's healthy to masturbate maybe i need to do a video on that too fuck because yeah i've had multiple women actually ask me how to masturbate um for all of my girlfriend's 18th birthdays in high school i actually got them vibrators because i thought it was very important um to explore your own body because you can't tell anybody else how to please you if you don't know how to please your fucking self just saying 
And you should be very vocal about it. If so, if you don't like something or if it hurts or something like that, say something. If you would prefer something a little different, say something. There's nothing wrong with that. I know so many women that have never had orgasms, which... That one probably kills me the most. Because there's no reason. And they teach boys and men that masturbating is fine. And then women, they have no idea. They, they haven't looked at their vaginas or anything. They have no idea what the hell is going on down there. Um, yeah. So, future video? <laughs> See, you can tell I'm, I'm feeling better. I have some emotion and it's not just, uh, sleepy. Uh, everything hurts. Uh, I'm going back to bed. Uh, I'm eating just so that I can take meds. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better and... Hopefully, you've watched this, even if it's only some of it. I know it's going to be a little long, um, but once again, I think it's really important. And I know the right people will see this and watch it. So I love you guys. I'm happy to be feeling a lot better so that I can start working on cosplay and merch. Because, yeah, I, I just sleep. I, I can't do anything else, even though I really, really want to. That's that's the most frustrating thing. But I know I'm going to be here talking to you guys one day and letting you know that I don't have a painful period. I don't have endometriosis anymore. I'm not taking any meds during my period so that I'm comfortable. Um, I'm not sleeping for days just to get through this shit. So, yeah. I know I I know it's on the horizon. I've come so far so already, so I know that eventually I'm going to get there. Yeah. I love you guys so much. Thank you for going on this little mini journey with me. Yeah. <laughs>